The Origin and Fall of the Devil Where did the devil come from? To put it another way, how could a god of love create someone as horrible as the devil? This question is based on flawed reasoning since it assumes that we are in a position to critique God. Many who refuse to look into what the Bible says on the subject simply decide that God seriously erred in this area, so we should not put our trust in him. God did not create the devil as we know him. When God created the world, we are told that God examined it and declared that it was good, Genesis 1 verse 31. This means that even the angelic world did not have evil angels or demons in it at that time. But by the time of Genesis chapter 3, we find that Satan, in the form of a serpent, was tempting Eve to sin. Therefore, some time between the events of Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 3, there must have been a rebellion in the angelic world, with many angels turning against God and becoming evil. This rebellion was led by Satan himself. Lucifer's Fall from Heaven The Bible gives us this information about the devil before his fall. Named Lucifer, which means Star of the Morning, held a high-ranking position in the angelic host, had exquisite beauty and great wisdom, given a position of great power and influence, called the Guardian Cherub. You were the model of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the Garden of God, you were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God, you walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade you were filled with violence, and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God, and I expelled you, O guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to earth, I made a spectacle of you before kings, Ezekiel 28 verses 12 to 17 NIV. Cherubim are depicted in scripture as powerful and majestic angelic creatures who surround God's throne. And Lucifer had once been a guardian cherub. Ironically, after Adam and Eve succumbed to the devil's temptations, disobeyed God, and were expelled from Eden, God sent cherubim to guard Eden, Genesis 3 verse 24. Since Lucifer had been the model of perfection, what sort of sin led to his fall? His heart became proud because of his incredible beauty. Lucifer allowed his perfection to be the cause of his corruption. God's Judgment on Lucifer Lucifer was not satisfied with worshipping God, instead, he wanted to be worshipped. Once a beautiful, powerful angel of God, he lost his former, exalted position in heaven. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations! For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the Most High. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest depths of the pit, Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15. Lucifer, star of the morning, became Satan, accuser, when he fell to the earth. Jesus, speaking of this event, said, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven, Luke 10 verse 18. 
Lucifer's followers. When Satan fell, he did not fall alone. Scripture tells us that he took one-third of the angels, see Revelation 12 verse 4. Considering that the angelic host numbers more than 10,000 x 10,000, see Revelation 5 verse 11, that is a sizable group. They account for the fallen angels, or demons, that now do his bidding. As a result, Satan is a fallen, but powerful, spirit being with a well-organized network of demon powers to help him accomplish his purposes. Those purposes, according to Jesus, are to steal, kill, and destroy, John 10 verse 10. That's the bad news. The good news is that two-thirds of the angels are on our side. As the prophet Elisha said to his servant, don't be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them, 2 Kings 6 verse 16. As Christians, we have an even greater asset than the majority of angels on our side, Jesus Christ who conquered Satan at the cross of Calvary, is also on our side. What was the reason for Satan's fall? The reason is explained in Revelations 12. After Lucifer's prideful thoughts and coalition with angels who also wanted to be worshipped, there was a war in heaven between Michael the archangel, his angels, and Lucifer and his fallen angels. Lucifer was defeated, and there wasn't any room for him and his rebellious troop in heaven any longer. So they were cast down to earth. Satan's fall all began with his pride. The saying, pride goes before a fall, probably had its origin in Lucifer's example. Who are the six fallen angels? Satan is the chief fallen angel of God. But of all the angels that fell from heaven with Lucifer, there are six particularly that people feel are of note. Belial, Mammon, Asmodeus, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Leviathan. Bible verses about fallen angels. Revelation 12 verse 9. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. 2 Peter 2 verse 4 For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment. Jude 1 verse 6 and the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling, these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. Luke 10 verse 18 He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Isaiah 14 verse 12 how you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Final thoughts. From Lucifer's story, we can see why it's important that we conquer pride as believers. The devil had an important place in heaven, but he became proud of his beauty and greedy for power and tried to turn other angels against God. That was what led to his downfall. When God exalts us, we must learn to stay humble with the help of the Holy Spirit. Christians also should put on the whole armor of God mentioned in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18, to stand firm against the devil.